Apparently, entertainment attorney Trey Lovell is with us now. What factors will be taken into consideration in their argument the charges should be dropped, Trey? Well, there's really three motions to dismiss before the court. Uh, the first is they're arguing that there was an abusive process in the grand jury um, process because uh, the prosecution failed to provide exculpa exculpatory evidence uh, for Baldwin, and also that there was an instruction by the expert that somehow Baldwin was responsible for the safety of the gun. Uh, they're also moving to have it dismissed based on the fact that the gun was destroyed supposedly by the FBI, preventing Baldwin's team from doing their own um, investigation. And then the third is really, like, like you had mentioned in your intro, um, the standard whether or not it's more of a, a recklessness standard or an ordinary negligence standard. So, you know, there's quite a, you know, quite a big plate uh, before the judge today. And based on those three things you just laid out, what's the chances this will be dismissed, the likelihood? You know, the chances are very slim. Um, you know, first of all, with respect to, to the grand jury process, you know, the court has very little room to review the evidence presented to a grand jury unless they can allege it was bad faith. Um, and so, the, and also, there's a lot of room in terms of what's exculpatory evidence and what's not. Um, so that's not going to be really be a grounds. And the fact that the, the state prosecution expert, you know, provided an opinion, Baldwin's going to be able to counteract that at trial. Um, with respect to destroying the gun, you know, Baldwin's got a pretty good argument. However, a lot of the prosecution's theory is not based on the integrity of the gun. It's based on the fact that Baldwin failed to check whether or not there were live bullets. He was pointing it at the armor and he shouldn't have. Things that would have happened irrespective of, of the gun. So that's kind of a difficult push as well. And we, with respect to, to the standard, you know, I think the grand jury court already ruled on that and said that the prosecution's instruction, you know, is more proper. Um, so I, I, I think, you know, on those grounds, um, even though he may lose at the motion to dismiss, that does show a preview of how I think he's got an excellent chance of prevailing at trial. All right. So let's say this does go to trial. All indication is that it will. How much of an impact will Hannah Gutierrez's guilty verdict impact Alec Baldwin's trial? It'll be a very big impact. First of all, the jury's going to know that somebody has been convicted of this crime and they have found somebody guilty. When somebody is, is, is killed or hurt, Jurors often need to find accountability. They need to point the finger at somebody. They need to find somebody who did it, especially when when, when it was undeserved. Um, and the fact that they already have somebody convicted is going to take a little bit of pressure off with Baldwin. Also, you know, the first trial really gave Baldwin's camp a chance to preview the case against him. You know, they saw the witnesses presented. They saw the theories. They saw the evidence. And although the theory is going to change a little bit with Baldwin, they know what's coming at him. And they're going to be able to hold prosecution accountable to to the, the factual record that they made, and that may help Baldwin in terms of his defense. How does a jury handle celebrity on the stand, and how do defense attorneys handle that um, once a trial begins? You know, celebrities really have an advantage before juries. You know, jurors, jurors are people. We watch movies, they watch television, and they have favorite actors. And there's always a, a level of being starstruck. Um, and so going into it, as long as the, the actor or actress is likable on the stand or likable, you know, in the, in the trial, um, it's going to fall within their image and it's going to give them a little bit of advantage in most cases. Um, but, but that being said, um, you know, when there's a murder, not a murder, but when there's a killing or, or a serious crime, um, you know, it, it changes it a little bit, but I do think Baldwin would have a little bit of an advantage, um, being a celebrity. And jurors also might wonder if it gets emotional, right, if they're acting. That's always a risk, uh, putting a, an actor on the stand, a celebrity like Alec Baldwin or anybody else. Uh, Trey Lovell, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you so much.